Hi guys, good morning and welcome to Primus Learning. My name is Primus here, and today we shall be talking some interesting um, Python scripts that would help an AWS solutions architect, a DevOps engineer, an AWS cloud engineer to be able to do their job. And these are repetitive tasks that you will spend a lot of time manually doing. But with these scripts, guys, you have it covered in a few seconds. So I have a couple of scripts here that I will discuss with you and play around with. So the first script will go out and delete all unused EBS volumes in your AWS account, guys. So it will delete all the unused EBS volumes that you have in your AWS account. This will be a time saver. This will be a money saver. I know a lot of accounts that uh, spend a lot of money on EBS volumes that are unused, on EBS volumes that are not necessary. So this script right here will go in and delete all of those things and reduce your cost, guys. We have another script here that would delete all unused IP addresses in your AWS account. You know that IP addresses cost when they are allocated and they are not used. And so this script right here would go in and do just that for you. We have another script here that would delete empty buckets. If you have empty buckets in your AWS account and you want them deleted, you want them gone, this script here would do that for you. EBS snapshots. If you want to delete all EBS snapshots in your AWS accounts that are not in use, here is a sample script for you guys. Uh, if you want to resize EBS volumes, this is a script that would help you resize those volumes um, if they are attached to an instance, you could give the instance ID here. All right. So let us see if you want to send emails from a verified AWS email account. This is it right here. You can use this email or this email sender. Call it this um, Python script to send emails to through your, you know, to send emails through here, right? We can just write your emails and send them through this interface, guys. This is neat. All right. With the script, you could literally put a Python, put a um a video in your AWS S3 bucket, and you will be able to transcribe to transcribe that video. I mean, transcribe it into text using the script right here, guys. So this is a couple of scripts that would help you immensely as an AWS solutions architect in doing your work. So we'll go through the first one. The rest are similar. The only thing I'm doing here is I'm importing Boto3. So you need to make sure you have Boto3 installed. If you don't have it, you can bring this up and get a, you can literally, um, Go to your view, look for extensions and get an extension in your VS code, a Boto3 extension, right? Just type Boto3 here, Boto3, and you get the official Boto3 um, package and install it on your system. So let's see, it's taking a sweet time to come. So you can do that and uh, that that will fix your issues because I definitely know you have errors if you don't have Boto3 installed. So you see AWS Boto3, I have this one installed. Um, this, this is the one that I used, um, except there's another one that I used, but yes, this is the one that I used, AWS Boto3. I installed this and that's it. You just need to hit and install. You come up on, you see when, when it's not installed, it will show install here. You just hit install and it would install. And that's all that you need. You need Python as well, right? So once you install Python, you are ready to go. All right. So let me go back from this extension to my files. These are my files. And I will explain one by one what these files are doing. This file, you of course need to pass your credentials. I pass the credentials directly here because I would delete them afterwards. They are not they are not useful after 
I run this video. All right, so the only thing I'm doing, I'm creating a function here, which is a for loop that will go in and search for EBS volumes that are not in use, right? So you're using the Boto3 resource to be able to connect to it using these access keys up here. And then I'm, I'm doing this for loop here, right? So anything that is unused volume, an unused volume, that's what I want to get. So I'm running a for loop inside uh, my AWS account and ec 2 volumesorg So I want to get all the ec 2 volumes that are unused, right? Unused volumes. And so if the volume state is available, you know, you have to get it. If not, attachments, right? So if the volume is not, not available, if the volume is available, it means it's not used, right? You you see what I'm talking about when I'm showing it in, in the AWS, um, place in the AWS uh, console. And then the volume ID, get the volume ID and all that, unused volume IDs, return unused volumes and all that. And then after you return that, you can run a for loop again to delete all the volumes. You see this for loop here. It is using the Boto3 resource as well. And then you're getting delete volumes, the volumes that we defined above because you're getting them because they are available, right? And then uh, after that, you simply go through region by region, checking through all the regions to make sure that there are no other volumes found. If you see any, if you don't see anything, print this, no unused volumes found, and that's it. That's what that script does. The second script here, delete all unused IP addresses, does a similar thing. It goes in, gets you your access credentials through through um, this Boto3 resource. And then it do does a, a for loop as well, goes through and gets every um, every IP address that is not used, right? This is a, an IP, IP address allocation. If the, alloca if the IP address is not allocated as indicated here, you get it for us and then delete afterwards. And so it does all of that. The next one is delete empty bucket. This one simply goes in and checks if there are empty buckets. If there are, hey, delete all of them. EBS snapshots. This one simply goes up and looks at EBS snapshots that are, are not used, right? Any EBS snapshots that you have in your AWS account, it should delete them. This is so it's cleaning up EBS snapshots. So you see my function name here is clean up snapshots and then it uses the Boto3 client. So you could use the Boto3 client or you could use the, the Boto3 resource when using this Boto3, but um, each one is an abstraction. It depends on which one you want to use. So I'm running a for loop here to uh, for, uh, in, in all throughout the region, right? Throughout all the region in this regions in this account, and I'll use the Boto3 client again to clean up um, every snapshot that I see, uh, which is of course uh, not being used, right? And remember, these things are very costly. These are very, very costly resources. And so if you don't do that, you, you, you know, you get here, you can just pass the instance ID directly and not go and call anything. Just pass the instance ID directly and you'll be able to get all your volumes, uh, rather all, all your, uh, the, you'll be able to get the direct volume, right? You just pass the direct instance where you want to resize the volume, right? You directly pass that and you can resize the volume right here. Then with this one, you can send an email address to a verified number. And to verify a number, I'll show you how you can do that to verify a number in AWS. Okay, and then this script right here would basically go in and uh, um, transcribe a vo uh, and a, a, you know call it a a video or a recording that you have in the AWS account. So you have to put your region name here the region where your 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 bucket is found the bucket name where your video is found and all that you know and then uh video file name 
the, the video file name you want to add, you want to transcribe to text you put put it here and then you are ready to go you are ready to use this script and transcribe a video like this video we are recording here into a text format all right guys so that's it with the explanations let's go ahead and start um, using this script, right? So let's try this first script here. Delete all unused. Let me rename this thing correctly. Delete all. There needs to be an L here. All right. So delete all unused EBS volumes. Um, delete all unused EBS volumes. So let, let's make sure there is an EBS volume in this account that is not used. So we have this EBS volume here, right? It says available. You see why I said available? If it's in use, if the state is in use, it will be in use here. If the state is not in use, it will show available. So want to delete this volume, guys. Want to just delete, go ahead and, and, and delete this volume right here. So we'll go in. And uh, yep, let's run our script. Our script is ready, guys. So everything, I have access keys, I have everything that is ready to go. So we'll simply hit run. See where I'm running? I'm running inside the, the VS code because I installed the package. I installed the Boto3 directly on VS code. You see, it's going through all my regions and not seeing anything goes through US East one, AP North is three, AP North is this. It will check US East one. Notice that in US East one, it will discover a volume that is available and it will go ahead and delete that volume. So it's checking US East one. Now it's seen a volume and it's deleting that volume. You see, it's seen a volume in US East one and it's deleted that volume, guys. Look at what it did. So it went to US East one and found a volume with this ID, OBEA. That's the volume we had here. The volume was OBEA and that's it. So if you refresh, no volume again, guys. So no volume. If we create another volume, let's say we create two volumes that are unused, right? You create two volumes that are not attached to any machine. So let's just say you have random volumes here um, or let's just put this one in Ohio. So it will go through through Ohio, oh shoot. Yeah, so you'll go through Ohio as well and, and delete any volume that it finds that are, that is not used. So want to put volumes in different um in different regions. So we'll do that. We've created one in, in US East one and one in another in US East two. Also the vol uh the request must contain a parameter zone. All right, so let's go here to volumes. And that's why it's not looks like there is okay this one is in use in this region let's create another one all right so we created created another one in us east um in ohio let's go ahead then and run a script one more time you discover that you go through the various uh, uh you go through the various regions and do its work all right so we're running so it goes, checks in AP South one, doesn't find anything and says no unused volume found in region. And then it goes through all these regions here, goes through them. Let's see what happens. Northeast AP, CA Central, SA East one, nothing. It doesn't find anything in these other regions and it keeps looking. And US East one, it finds and deletes one. US East two, it finds and deletes one. So you see it's deleted this one here which it found in US East one and deleted this other one here, which it found in US East two. So guys, this is a simple script, but it would do you magics in terms of cost savings. It will really, really go ahead and just clean up all the unused volumes uh, that you have in your AWS account. All right, that's the first use case. The second use case is deleting all unused IP addresses. Some people forget IP addresses when they create them and they don't use them, right? So let's go into US East one and um, go into IP addresses, right? Let's go to IP addresses and see if we have an unused IP address. So elastic IP addresses, when they are not allocated to machines they cost a lot of a lot guys so no, no that's not ips let's go to ips all right let's allocate an ip we don't have an ip here let's just allocate one and then run the script on top of it so once you have it and it's not used 
that's the one it allocated. So once you have an IP address like this and it's not being used, what happens is AWS will charge you for that because IP addresses are scarce. You don't have to keep them uh, just like that without using them. And so AWS will charge you for not attaching and using this IP address. And that's why you want to delete all those that are not being used, that are allocated, but not being used. So let's go ahead, let's delete all unused IP addresses. Let's run this script and see what happens. So the script is running currently. Let's give it a moment to run. All right, delete all unused IPs. Deleted unused IP, this is the IP address it found. It found the region and deleted it. Found and deleted one unused elastic IP address in region. This is the region and this is the IP address right here. Uh, this is the IP address and this is, this is information about the IP address. So it went in there, deleted that IP address, which is not used. So if you had multiple IP addresses, it would do the same, go through and delete all of them, guys. So you see how neat this script is. It looks small, it looks a tiny little bit, but it is a magical script to do the job for you. All right, let's go ahead with the, the S3 script here. This S3 script will basically just go in and delete um, S3 buckets that are not having any objects inside. Um, there are more scripts that we could do. If you need them, just tell us in the description section um, and we'll do scripts for you, right? That that are specific to your needs. So let's go, let's go and do um, S3. Let's go to S3 and create a bucket. Want to create an S3 bucket? So please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel, share our, share our videos, and let's let's get more content. And also comment and let us know which what whatever script you want us to help you with. We can get you a script customized to your needs, guys. All right, just reach out to us or comment on the comment section. I will be ready to to help help you out. All right, let's give this bucket name Primus Learning uh there's two three seven bucket yeah let's just give it that name and uh, create we want to leave everything as is and create so we know that we have an empty bucket it doesn't have any content in it we just want to go ahead and figure out maybe let's create a second one and just say primus learning vpc dashes <laughs> i don't know how this name is coming about now let's just give it that so that it's unique you know s3 bucket names have to be unique uh, and so we want to give that name so we have two buckets here with no data inside so you want to clean up your environment and it's like oh no i have to clean up this environment and so you can do that using this script so let's go ahead and run the script so the script is running and it has to delete empty buckets that are found in your account and even before we realized it it deleted the two buckets that we found that we it found primus learning test 237 bucket and primus learning vpc dashes now it all deleted that so quick so fast right guys so this can really help you clean your environment and make it look good the next one is ebs snapshot so you if you have a, an ebs snapshot in your account this script right here can do the magic for you. Many people forget EBS snapshots and they will cause them. I know a lot of people spending 5,000, uh, 5, 10,000 because of EBS volume. So I've gone and worked in organizations and consulted with organizations um, that took me for cost optimization. And I reduced about $10,000 on EBS volumes, elastic load, uh, elastic IP addresses and, uh, uh, and, uh, um uh snapshots snapshots whether they they were snap rds snapshots ebs snapshots uh and so on so let's go to ec2 let's go to ec2 there are people who have retention uh, periods of 35 days for snapshots that are just sitting there though it has the the benefits 
that your data can be backed up, blah, blah, blah. But trust me, they cost a lot. And so that's another point of it. So let's say we want to create this snapshot of the instance that we have on our account. So let's say we've created a snapshot and it's in here. Let's go in, you see it's available. It's, in, it's the status is available. So let's go and run this script to delete all snapshots that are in our account. So let's go ahead and do that. So cleaning up, it goes to the regions, goes to the regions. It, notice that it's not seeing anything in these regions but it still keeps going. And uh, it looks like it found a snapshot. It finally found a snapshot in US East 1 and it deleted that snapshot for us, guys. It found a snapshot in US East 1 and cleared it off. So if you go into your account again and refresh, this snapshot is gone. This snapshot is gone. Same way it will load through different regions as, the, as it's loading here, you can see it, and clean up anything that it finds that is not, you know, uh, that's not being used. Empty snapshots like that, it would delete it for you guys. So that's the, the, the thing with that script. This script right here, I'm still working on it, uh, not yet done. So I'll be resizing, I'll be resizing the, um, I want to resize the EBS volumes here. So the instance ID, let me put the instance ID for this one and see. I think I have um, an instance here that's running. This is US East 1. That's not running, but it's it's stopped. So I will go in there and see if I can see an instance and res resize the EBS volume. So let's go to volumes. So the volume, the instance ID, once the instance ID. So if you pass the instance ID of the instance, so in this case, this instance ID. Let's see. I'm still working on this script. Actually, I need to finish the script. So, oh yeah, I need to use it as a variable. So let's do this. Let's run on the script here yeah. run in debug mode okay. yeah oops okay oh this is shell script this is a shell script i can install a shell script let's just do shell script let's just find a shell thing run vs run shell script on vs code yeah i think this one could work I don't know, it has two 6K downloads. It has a five star. I'm looking for shell script package here that can run directly in my VS code. Let's try that one and see if it works. So let's right click and uh, run. Or let's run on debug mode and see oh so it's not recognizing that one maybe this one i don't know let's try this one it has five stars it has this number of downloads hopefully it doesn't mess up my things let's try that so i that one is done let's run on debug mode and see what happens so it looks like it's running Looks like it's running. It's clear. Yeah, so I'm still working on this script, guys. I'll I will post this script once I'm done. All right, the next script here is to send an email to a verified um is to send an email to a verified verified AWS uh, email address. So I want to send an email to this email address right here, primus.veku. 
uh, is this one verified? So yeah, I think this one is verified. If I run this script, you discover that it will uh, send me an email address. It's an email telling me, uh, hello, this is a test email sent from email. You see it's run and sent it uh, automatically here. So if we go into this email, you should be able to see uh, some tests that it's done. Okay, so this is the test email that is sent. You see this is a test email. I sent me a test email many multiple times because I was trying this out. So to verify an email in, in, in uh, AWS, right? All you need to do is go to verified emails on SES. Uh, that's the, the, the Amazon SES service. Let me log in to this account and go to this. So you have to go to the simple email service and verify the email. You see, I've verified these two emails. You just need to create an identity. Go, go there, create an identity and put the email address. Once you do that, it will send you an email. So let's say if I do primus.veku at, primus at gmail.com, it will send an email to this email asking to be verified. This one is already verified. So you see, it, tell, it fails because it, your request already exists. It already did that and it's verified. So you can send an email to any email address that you have, which is not verified. And then you see, I sent it to this one, uh, to this account here. And this is how the email verification will look like this. You just click on this on the link and that's it. It will verify for that region. So it verifies for each region. So take, for instance, you have some emails in your workplace. You want to be sending notifications, email notifications when something happens. You quickly want to send an email to that person. They, of course, have to verify that email with, with SES. So you send them verification emails, they verify, and that's it. You'll be able to use script to send them emails. So if I modify this script and say, hello, this is Primus Learning, and it is, it is a test email sent using Amazon SMS. That's what it will send to my email to my email so if i do that and run you should get an email soon all right email is successful and if we go to our email uh here you should see an email from me you see there's a new email and this is hello this is primus learning and it is test email sent sent using amazon sns and ses so that's what that that script um does there guys very neat all right so this is the last script that I have, and this script right here is a good script. It does magic, right? So let's go into our AWS account and create an S3 bucket. So once you create an S3 bucket, go into that bucket and uh, upload some files. We'll upload S3. So let's go to S3. Let this be in US East one. So let's create a bucket. I want to create a bucket here. And just call it Primus Transcribe Bucket. We, we will need the name of this bucket. So everything here should be, it's US East one. Okay, everything here should be fine, encrypted, all that. Okay, let's create this bucket and upload a file inside. So want to upload a file and transcribe that file and use AWS, the AWS transcribe service to transcribe this um, this file. It is, an, it is a video that, that we have. It's one of our videos, recorded sessions. So this is, DevOps session 73, it's a long two hour session. Let me use something that's 30 minutes, guys. <laughs> Jeez, that's very long. Uh, how to manage, that's long as well. Let's use this one, deploying application, deploying applications with Argo CD using Kubernetes. That's like 30 minutes video. 
35 minutes video so so upload this video once it's done uploading we we'll modify our script a little bit and get it going so we have our access keys defined the region here should be us east one us east one and then the bucket name remember that bucket name then remember to pass the name of the script you want to modify and the extension uh, you want to rather transcribe on the extension so this is the script we want to transcribe it is not it's not a script sorry it is a video it's a video it's a, a, actually a zoom video that i did so it's uh, an mp4 video so this is it we want to transcribe this to text format All right so once to transcribe this video to text format it will go in use the transcribe service and do its magic with it so let's run the script and see what happens so we have everything ready to go us east one bucket name and the bucket, the file name is here. This is the object we want to transcribe and it will return us text. So it, it will tell us that it's transcribed. If it's transcribed, it will fail if it, if, if it fails. So let's go ahead and run that. So it's running. So you go and create a transcription in AWS. So if you go to AWS transcribe service, AWS transcribe, let's just do transcribe here. You see that it will create a transcription script in AWS transcribe and uh, use that job. It will create a job and use that job to do its transcription, transcribe that. You see it's in progress, guys. It created a job called transcription job and it will create an S3 uh job name transcribe just as we described here it would transcribe it and put it in an s3 bucket oh i think i didn't put the s3 path where it will put the job but i think it will put it back wherever um, the bucket is and it will just name it transcribe so inside this bucket we should see something called transcribe if it sees the bucket so previous learning bucket video file okay Yes, we will do that. So you see the job is still in progress. It runs this job for a couple of uh, minutes or so because this job is a transcription job. It does, remember it does 35 minutes of video. It, it will loop through it and uh, transcribe every word in it. That's why you see us defining this loop up here, this loop, uh, this loop right here. You see the transcribe job, it goes in, and this is the loop, the for uh, the 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 for loop here, the while loop anyway. So let's see if it if it failed. What's the result? Let's see. Hold on, this thing is covering. So it completed the job. And we should have a transcription in our bucket. So this is the bucket bucket it's asking us to go to this bucket. So the same bucket we used, right? So let's go back to our bucket S3. So let's go in there. And inside this bucket, you should see a transcription. All right, you see this file called transcribe. This is the file we uploaded. You see the file called transcribe. This is what is transcribed and it should be text format now. It will give you all the words in text format. It is transcribed. We can open this with something. Let's open this maybe with, oh my, my this thing usually doesn't work as expected. So let's download again here. And just open from here so we can go to this file if we go to this file i want to see the all right so let's do this you see the transcribe i want to open it with something maybe with vs code let's open with vs code so that um you can see the content 
and you can see the content guys so it starts from here where i was introducing myself hi guys good afternoon and welcome this is uh, my, uh this and welcome to this session my name is primos Veko. it doesn't it doesn't catch my name well and this is primos learning kicking off yet another video here guys and all that and all that so you can just select all these it will go the rest will be json format down there because um you know it transcribe all that so you can copy the section which is the transcription itself you see the rest are json now so you just copy where your transcription ended and it ends with the word bye bye this is where my video ended with the word bye bye just copy this text and that's it copy that text and uh, place it here again and here you go what that would have been if imagine if you had to transcribe this thing manually it would take you i don't know to transcribe so this is literally a, a lifesaver in terms of the type of thing you can do with the script right so guys these are a couple of scripts i will share them with you in the description section of the video uh, in a i'll just create um you know a github um uh, repository for this and just attach them and share it on the description section of the video please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you love this video leave us your comments um, and we'll be glad to maybe uh, do a video for you if you're specific enough and uh, yeah that's it from us today my name is primus beku and this is primus learning thank you for watching bye bye